Yo, what's happening? Um, today's video is about being organized and being clean. This is mostly for the men, but uh, ladies, if it works for you, then it's cool. All right. Um, right after I came out of like my worst depression I ever been in, I realized that organization in your life um, keeps away a lot of anxiety. And I learned being organized in your home space has a lot to do with your brain space being um, uncluttered and clean. And I never forget this. This was crazy. Um, I, uh, one of my favorite movies is Limitless. And um, first thing he did, well, actually the second thing he ran up in his landlord boy first but after he ran up in his landlord the first thing that he did was he cleaned up his space he had all of this mind power but the first thing he did was clean up his home and um i remember my ex-girlfriend man she was so clean i think she had uh, some kind of compulsive disorder but anyway she, she's a very very successful businesswoman, and so she gave me this book and in this book, it said, i never forget, it said, have a place for everything. When I say everything, have a place for everything. And I ain't gonna lie, it works. Like, I got a place for everything. I got a home for everything. I got a place where everything goes. You know, no matter what it may end up being, I have a place for everything bow ties, everything. And first of all, let me start back over. Get somebody to clean your shit up first. I ain't gonna lie. I just, you know, even if you gotta pay somebody to clean your shit up, just like allow somebody to, because there's a method in cleaning. Like, I, I tell y'all about that later, but I, I'm trying to help you stay clean and we'll talk about cleaning another time. But get somebody to clean your shit up for you. Um, and then, while it's clean, you find a space for everything. What I do in my kitchen is I only have uh, enough dishes for three people. Because it's like we have all of these dishes and we have all these cups and glasses. And it's usually, you know, only one, two, or three people in the house. So why you got all that shit? What that's going to end up doing, the days that you're tired as fuck and you don't feel like... You know, because sometimes I don't feel like putting back everything every time. But when I feel that way, and it's not too much, um, it ain't but three cups in that bitch anyway. It's only three forks in that bitch anyway, because I stay by myself sometimes. Um, <laughs> um, but it doesn't leave the space for me to become cluttered. Something else I want to tell you all. Being clean and being organized has nothing to do with how much money you make. You know, I remember Big Gip one time on, on Goody Mob album and it hit me in the throat. He said, man, go, go out in the yard and pick that fucking paper up. You know, being clean and being organized don't have nothing to do with money. It has to do with laziness and structure. Um, but once your house is clean, if after you eat, you wash the dishes right then, right that moment, then you won't have to worry about shit struggling, I mean, shit stacking up and it um, becoming overwhelming to you. Um, I'm starting to learn that in business, too. Like, if you don't let shit linger, you go ahead and attack it and get it done, and shit is over with. You know, and when you come back home, you can come home energized to a fresh, clean house instead of more fucking work. You know what I mean? I know it feel good when I come home and my shit clean. And then what I do is, you know, for the most part, I have become a clean person because I've never been a nasty person. I don't like nasty shit. But because I'm an artist, like, I'm always in a creative mode and a creative space, so I throw shit everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Even when I get dressed, I pull all my clothes out and I put them on the bed. I don't know why I do that. I got to see them in an outfit. And um, I just learn after I pull all that shit out, put it right back. Um, I'm not always perfect. Um, sometimes I need help, but you know, it's about breaking yourself and uh, I hope this helps you. Um,
clean up after yourself. Don't be a clutter. Um, a cluttered fuck. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and believe me, man, once you find space for everything, then you will start seeing that it, it, it'll start bleeding over into the rest of your life. Um, you know, it's funny. Um, Lee teases me because even when we lift weights, I, I want to have the same type of weights on both sides, even though it may be the same weight. You know, I want the same clamp. I want a certain level of organization. And, um, you know, it helps me in business not to half do shit. I hate half-ass motherfuckers. You know, if you're going to do something, finish it. Um, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Um, I hope it helps. Uh, appreciate you. Find a space for everything in your life. Oh, one last thing, too. This pisses my mom off. A lot of times, because we come from impoverished situations, that we end up being um, hoarders. Um, when I bought my grandmother her house and uh, tore her old house down and built her a new house, the one thing I made her do was throw away all that shit. Throw away all that old shit, all of those. And that this was before I was in the law of attraction, but I was already doing some of this stuff. Get all those old spirits out. A lot of times we'll see shit and in our head that won't make us demand bigger and better shit. Like a lot of that shit don't even fit. You don't use it no more. Give it away. You know, um, shit, throw it away. You know, I, I always try to give stuff away, but if I can't readily do it in order to get stuff out of the way, I throw it away. Um, and it creates space for the universe to bring you bigger and better things. So, like, everybody that know me, like, every four months, I throw away or give away, mostly give away, um, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of shit so I can make space for bigger and better things. So, you know, it's about carrying a light load. You know, the more shit you carry around in your life, you know, the more anxious you become. You know, throw that shit away, man. My mom be mad at me all the time. I throw away. I, I'm quick to throw shit away. And shit, I'm that way about people too. When they become heavy, um, when it becomes a burden, a relationship becomes a burden. Bag lady. Ah, ah, all right, bye, y'all. <laughs>